residents of Imo town in Elisha North local northeast local government area of Oshun state have pledged to end female genital mutilation practice in the area because of its harmful consequences female circumcision is traditionally practiced in some parts of the state despite efforts sensitizing the public on its adverse effects Hamido Yegbade reports Female circumcision, also known as female genital mutilation, is a traditional practice that involves the partial or total removal of external female genitalia or other injury to the female genital organs for non-medical reasons. The practice is internationally recognized as a violation of human rights and is considered a harmful practice. We have prolonged obstructed labor. Uh, we also have a uh, laceration. We have laceration, that is perineal laceration, as a result of head genital mutilation, which occurs, uh, which may lead to prolonged and uh, obstructed labor. It may also lead to varicophagina fistula or rectophagina fistula. And we also have sexual effects of female genital mutilation. The, the people that have been called, they experience sexual dissatisfaction. According to the Nigeria Demographic Health Survey, the prevalence of female circumcision in Oshun State has reduced from 77.6% to 45.9%. Residents of Ima Town in Elisha Northeast local government area of Oshun State said they have been educated about the dangers of female circumcision and vow to end the practice in the town. And we've been educated on the needs to stop female genital mutilation in the entire Lisha East local government. And we've all agreed that we are stopping it right from today. We are stopping female genital mutilation. The decision we are making in our own community, in Mon, as a whole, is we have put an end to female genital mutilation. Everybody has unanimously agreed that there is no way to female genital mutilation is. So my advice to other communities out there is that they should stop this practice because it does not have any benefits to the um, females. Experts say addressing the practice requires a multifaceted approach that involves the collaboration between governments, communities, including NGOs, healthcare providers, and international organizations to raise awareness of the dangers of female genital mutilation. Amid Ojegbade, Trust TV News, Oshobo.